Welcome back. It is 2022 for Albuquerque Backyard Gardening, uh, or Albuquerque Gardening. Getting things kind of set up for this season. Uh, thank you. Oh my god, we hit 100 subscribers. It is incredible. Thank you to everybody following my garden uh, with the, what I consider, you know, not as... Um, consistent content as I want to get. I want to start putting out more stuff, but as these videos come out, we'll do what we can. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys a little bit of what we're getting prepped for this season, how we've expanded some of the beds, we've moved things around, and we have compost being delivered. So, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and let's get ready for the season. It is late January, getting some garden prep going. Spent most of today combining the four beds that were right here into one bed, kind of evening out the soil level, replanting the collard greens, and installing about 100 feet of soaker hose. This year I want to be more efficient, spend less time watering, and this is the first step. I bought a timer, a water hose timer for this, and it'll have two outlets. So with this bed and the pumpkin bed, uh, those will be automated watering. I also bought a splitter so that I can uh, make better use of the one spigot. I've expanded out the pumpkin bed. The five beds that were here. Two, three, four, I guess four. And then the one back there where we grew the pumpkin. Con consolidated all of these into one grow plot for the sake of easier watering. So tomorrow I'll be getting five cubic yards of compost delivered. Get it all laid out there and in there. And then we'll lay out the soaker hose on this one. I had 100 feet, I might have to go a little bigger than that. Um, we'll just have to find out on that. Yeah, so this plot will be much bigger. This is the plot from last year. Kind of can still see the dark soil. I didn't think at all that these trees would be an issue, but these roots were all up in my soil. This was way too close to those trees. And so while I was moving all this dirt, I saw all those roots. I had to chop up a bunch of roots, a bunch of roots still all through here, but I chopped up most of them. And yeah, we'll be installing that soaker hose. 2022 is going to be a big year. Finally warming up, things are sprouting, got a bunch of volunteer plants that I'll be having to pick uh, so I can make room for the things I want to grow. 
but with this garden season comes a much larger patch for the pumpkins. And here's the idea. I've got two packs of seeds of these ones right here, the 1454 angle, which I guess is a cross between 896 angle 2020 and the 359 FOSS 2013 Howard Dill Award winner. So we're going to have nice orange color, real jack-o'-lantern style pumpkin growing. I've got a couple packs of those seeds, only going to really be sprouting maybe one actual pack. Here's a little preview. So those seeds look good. We'll try growing those in the main patch. I also have two packs of 1282 Fenico. Fenica. Uh, if I butchered the pronunciation, that's my mistake. These are giant squash seeds that came from, I guess, a fruit that yielded 1,282 pounds total. So this will be a big old green squash that I plan on growing in a hydro bucket, kind of like the crack key pumpkin last year in one of these totes. I mean, it's full of compost right now, but it's going to be hydroponic here pretty soon now that things are warming up. On the food side of things, um, I had a lot of fun growing popcorn last year, so this year I'm going to be growing some caramel corn style popcorn and some regular fluffy popcorn. And those will most likely, one of them will be here. Um, still trying to figure that one out. I mean, there's two varieties. You don't really want to grow two of them with each other. So I guess I have a real decision to make here. And keeping in mind pollinators, I got some bergamot and some Flanders poppies. Um, never really got into growing the flowers, but I figure why not, you know? These ones were shipped in from Canada. So this is just part of the prep for this season. I'm excited about growing the squash. Real excited about growing the big pumpkin too. Because let's be real, last year the 52 pound pumpkin was was good, but I could do better. I figure if I get a seed from a 1400 pounder, I can at least grow a 200 pounder. One of the big issues was these elm trees and their roots finding their way through all this clay soil into my garden beds. And since that one last year over in that spot where I grew the other pumpkin was so close to these trees, I don't think they ever really stood a chance of growing all that, all that large. So, uh, oof, there we go. So stay tuned for some weekly updates on the giant pumpkin growth.